Hi, this is Steven from Just Got Played, and today I'm going to unbox the Crew Mission Deep Sea from Cosmos. So this is the follow-up to the Crew Quest for Planet Nine, uh, and as you can see here, it's three to five players, ages ten and up, playing time twenty minutes or so. It has a two-player variant. Uh, there's a helper app included, uh, and it's a cooperative trick-taking card game, which is you know really what makes this special. So. You know, I said this is a follow-up to the crew quest for Planet Nine. I don't think there's any reason you would need to own both of these. Um, let's take a look. All right, log book. Read the rule book first. Okay. All right, rule book. Start reading here. All right, so we have a look at the game materials. I mean, it's mostly cards uh, in the game, although you have a few tokens here. Uh, it explains, you know, trick-taking and cooperative. It talks about communications. This is a limited communication game. Um, be super easy otherwise. Um, talking about mission preparation, uh, the sequence of the missions, um, how play goes. Uh, there's the distress signal mechanic. All right, where you can pass cards uh, to each player because you don't think you can accomplish something. The task cards, which are sort of the meat of the game, telling you what you need to, uh, everybody needs to accomplish to win. Uh, symbols that are in the log books. There's the two player variant down there. Um, all right, some tips uh, and a quick overview. All right, cool. And I did say if you've already played the crew, just jump right to the mission sequence section on page eight. So that's nice. All right, so what do we have here? I think this is the captain token. Yep, so this specifies who is the captain in the round. A nice chunky piece of cardboard. There you go. Nice standee for the captain. Eee. All right. And uh, we've got these signals, um, sonar tokens, that's what they're called, uh, where you can put uh, you can put a card down and you can put one of these sonar tokens on it to say, yeah, this is my only one of that color, or the highest or the lowest. Uh, I think those are the three things you can signal. And this is the distress token, which starts out um, like that. And then if you use it, it goes like that. So, you know, all nice pieces of cardboard. Cool. All right. So let's uh, actually look at the deck of cards here. If I can get that open. Yep. I have a pretty easy tab to open. So that's nice. All right. So you've got, um, here's the art. For the, oh, look, there's different art on each card. Isn't that nice? Cool. Um, all right, so this is the blue suit, uh, which is one of the regular four colored suits, and they go from one to nine, as you see. And uh, you know, let's just keep looking at this art because it's nice. Um, so the green again, oh, is that the same art just with a different color? Oh, okay, all right, and then the whatever pink <laughs> three, five, yeah, I really like that shark one, so cool. All right, uh, and I don't know, orange. I don't know what you call these colors. All right. And then there's the submarine cards, which are Trump. Uh, and there's only four of those. Uh, it's like a different fancier submarines. All right. And these are the reminder cards. Uh, so the reminder cards are when you put one down uh, and you put one of the sonar tokens on it, you, you want to be able to remind yourself that you still have other cards. So you put that in your hand. I actually found that super useful. I didn't look at the card backs here, but um, yeah, let's just take a look there. Cool. Nice. All right. And then the task cards. Let's see if this has an easy to find an open tab. There we go. Convenient. These cards are a little small, but you're not holding them in your hand or anything anyway. Uh, so, you know, I will win the blue four, pink three. Uh, so there's a bunch that tell you win specific cards. Um, oh, I won't win a one of any color. That's cool. Um, it's telling you I won't win those things. I'll win none of the first five tricks. Only the first trick. Only the last trick. First and last. All right, first two, three, none of the first three. So a lot of different combinations here. Um, just go through these real quick. There's a lot of these though, cool. When exactly two 
three tricks and they will be in a row. Cool, two in a row. I will never win two in a row. That's interesting. So you have to make sure that you, every time you lead, you're going to lose. Uh, when a trick using a two of any color, and when it says any color, that doesn't count submarines. It's just any of the four colors. Um, so, all right. When a five with a seven, that's very specific. Uh, when a six with another six, oh, that's cool. Somebody has to slough under you, I guess. Uh, and that, that one is probably one of the harder ones I've seen. All right. Uh, when exactly two nines, well, that's hard unless you have two nines in your hand. Um, all right. I will win all the threes. Cool. Um, all right. So a lot of commonality in here, but still pretty interesting. Won't win any of the specific colors. Win exactly some number of the colors. I will win a trick with a total value of 22 or 23. That one's interesting. Whoa. All right. I know. <laughs> that must be different depending on the number of players. And submarines are not allowed in the trick. That's interesting. Uh, so some valuable ones. I will win X tricks. Oh, you make a secret prediction. Okay, cool. Uh, more. I will win more tricks than everybody else combined. Uh, fewer tricks. All right, that's cool. Uh, I will win as many tricks as the captain. I'm not the captain, right? You can't take this task if you're the captain. One of these ones related to the captain. I'll win fewer tricks than the captain. I'll win more tricks than the captain. All right. Uh, all right. Oh, win the three submarine card. All right. Win the two submarine card and no other submarine. That's interesting. All right. Uh, yeah, same there. Huh, interesting. I mean, I guess you basically have to have that card in your hand to win it. Uh, you'll win one submarine or two or three. Win no submarines. Cool. Will not open a trick with that or that. That's interesting. That, that, or that. Hmm. Hmm. I will win a trick that contains only odd numbered cards. <laughs> okay. It's a good thing some of these things, you know, it's good this thing, this is cooperative. <laughs> a lot of coordination required there. And you can't talk to each other, so they need to pay attention, right? All your uh, teammates do. Um, all right. Cool. All right, we're almost through all these. Oh, that's cool. Man, look at how much replayability there is in this game, right? That's amazing. Uh, so there is the log book. I'll just turn to the first part here. You can see that you enter your crew here and it talks about how to use uh, the log book. And then there's a prologue and then there's uh, a couple of missions here, one and two, and there's an epilogue. And it looks like there's 31, 32 missions. All right. So there you go. That is the crew mission deep sea. Hope you enjoyed. Thanks. We hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did, please leave a comment or hit the like button. It really does help us out. If you have suggestions for future videos, let us know in the comments as well. And then subscribe to see what we come up with next.